Hello and welcome to the Astro Flower Aura readings. Um, just to sort of go through uh, basically what we do on these readings. I'm an energy healer. I've been an energy healer for sort of 30 years. I've seen over 20,000 people and I see energy fields around everything. Uh, so, and I've been seeing them for a very long time, so 30 odd years. Um, and uh, yeah, it's been the main course of my study basically throughout my life. Um, so um, what we're going to be doing today, we're going to be looking at the effects of what the earth energy, the vibration or the universal vibration if you like, uh, and how it affects each individual sign within your chakras and your aura. And this will give you a heads up on your weekly readings, your monthly readings and etc. I c this is not a personal sort of thing. So um, you can't I can read people's sh chakras and auras at distance, it's not a problem. Um, but this is obviously a general video and this is where we're just going to be going into general um, sort of connections that different signs have because different signs work on different types of energy. Uh, and that's to do with the element system which we can find within the astro flower. So, um, yeah, so what we're going to do here is we're going to go through the chakras and I'm going to pick out the big, you know, the ones that are affecting you as your sign the most um, and see if there's anything that we can pick up in the aura as well and the uh, just to sort of differentiate the chakras are like the electrical cables of your energy that's going pulsating through your body like it's energy lines or ley lines that pulsate through the vibration of the earth we get the same thing on all the planets as much as we do on the solar system um, the sun as well uh, so that's like the cables, the electrical cables where the current is really going through it. And that electrical cables create a magnetic field, which we would call your aura. Um, uh, we can also say the magnetic field of the Earth and uh, the magnetic field of the Sun and other planets and etc. So there is a difference between the two. Um, and auras are a lot slower than they are than the chakras. Chakras are a lot faster. Um, so it's, it, it, I, I'll be honest with you, I can't see chakras per se. I can see what effect it's having on the magnetic field. A little bit like a boat that goes through water um, and the boat has long gone, but you can see the wake from the boat afterwards. So I see the knock-on effect of the chakras rather than the actual chakras itself. Be interesting to see them in the future, maybe uh, if the vibration of the earth picks up even more, uh, it, things may well be possible in that sort of sense. So it's just a sort of difference between the two. The aura is a lot slower. It's a lot sort of, it takes a lot more to change auras. Chakras change a lot quicker. Um, and this, that is what I would call the, um, uh, the harmonics or the harmony or the vibration of your energy. Um, and uh, you know uh, the uh, or the chakras would be more of a case of like the watts or the um, the energy uh, the the watts or the kilowatts or the volts that are flying through that chakra at any given point. I will say one other thing on on energy uh, before we start. You can never have less than hundred percent of energy. You're never missing it. You've never got too much. It's just the way in which you position your energy or distribute your energy through your body which can give you the sensation that you're missing energy and other times when you have excess amount of energies. So without further ado, let's just bring up our astro flower man. There we go. Lovely. Okay, and we're just going to get into those readings. Capricorn, let's get on to your aura and your chakra reading. How are you doing? Uh, fully on into your summer period at the moment. Um, so things should be really motoring for you. Although I will say that every, you know, there's a lot of planets in retrograde at the moment and we are having a moment of pause, a moment of self-reflection, a self-analysis. We've seen that in the weekly readings here. 
Um, but so it is a moment of um, sort of um, assessment that we're going through at the moment. But you should be in your summer period, so things should be still continuing to go on, although you're self-analyzing the situations that are around you. Okay, let's just get on to your the overall energies here. Good. <laughs> I'll tell you that in a minute. Okay, there's two good things, two really good things that are going on at the moment. You've got this sort of vortex, semi-vortex, I will say, energy down in your fundamental section here. I think this is being where, I think you can assess things really quickly at the moment, actually, uh, Capricorn. I think you've got this capacity to evaluate things and kind of put them in their place and then come to a conclusion and a realisation as well. And that's what appears to be happening with your overall energy. You're moving from the assessment to a realisation, kind of going, ah, right, in that case. <coughs> and these realisations are connected to your fundamentals. So it's not on a very personal level, it's on a fundamental thing. So fundamental um, things are, say, like, in very simple terms, I'm fundamentally, I am hungry. Um, and then I've got my heart's desires, which are very much more complex, but that's more of a case of, uh, in that case, I would like to eat a tomato and feta salad, you know, um, and that's your heart's desires. So in the lower section here, you seem to be getting this sort of like uh, clarification within your, uh, within your aura, which is this energy that keeps bringing things back into yourself. It's your magnetic field. It attracts things and repels things within your life. Um, and then it goes through the electrical system where we work things out and then it goes back out in the aura and that's how we manifest uh, and uh, create the law of attraction, which I will be doing videos on, by the way, uh, on Cymatic TV, sister channel, which is linked in the description below. I do energy updates on that channel. That channel is all about... <laughs> <coughs> energy. Blimey. That really came up from deep. I, I've got to get a bit of tea, sorry. Whew. So, yeah, it's all about um, all about energy, basically, and how it works, how the universe interacts with the sun, how the sun interacts with the earth, and that prana energy, how it interacts with us as well, and the environment that we live in, uh, going into ley lines, getting the messages from the earth, and so and so forth. Um, yeah, and I will be doing videos on the law of attraction and uh, manifestation because sometimes you can put out a lot of positivity uh, in the world, and you get nothing but negative back. Why is that? So we're going to be going into that. <coughs> so you're moving into this stage here from analysis into realisation. This is where you can then start manifesting things. So I think it's like um, the calm before the storm that's happening in you at the moment. <coughs> I really do apologise about this. Oh, there you go. Let's just release it from my solar plexus. That's quite good. Um, so yeah, you're moving from this and, and moving into um, a real manifestation period in your life uh, over the next sort of like three, four weeks. Uh, it'd be really good for that sort of thing, maybe even going up to six weeks, basically. Uh, see how it goes on with everything that is around us, because we've got all those planets in retrograde as well, which is creating that sort of like pause moment. Um, yes, so, you know... Uh, that's, that's what's sort of going on there. And then up at the top section here, there is a definite uh, realisation, I think, of about how things work for you mentally. You know, it's not necessarily consciousness. It's much more sort of like within your inner vision, getting your inner vision to be... Um, and you're getting realisations about your inner vision, the path that you should be on and that forth and so forth. And this realisation then converts into action. And I think you're trying to action it within your mental state and keeping an eye on what you want to be living within your mental, art, mental uh, imagery is actually a good thing. And it's going to help you keep that, that, you know, keep that direction, keep that rudder on the right path, on that white, on the, on the degree that you need to be sailing, basically. Um, so let's go into your chakras here. Let's go into your root chakra. 
short, uh, short chakra, but very, very, very solid. You know, very earth sign, <laughs> basically. Um, it's like it's you know what grounds you, what brings you into a place of um, sensation of success, sensation of that you know you are where you are where you're supposed to be. Uh, and that is really clear and defined for you. It's, it's immovable at the moment. And regardless of what you're doing in your life, that sort of inner vision, of that inner sensation of where you should be and what you should be doing is very, very clear for you at the moment. Very, very nice. I like that. Uh, very, very Capricorn as well. Um, let's go see what's going on in the sacrum here. I'm a workaholic as well. I love working, so therefore I feel like it's pleasure. I feel like it's fun. And I don't do enough for myself. I'm the worst, you know, one of the worst. I think we're all very much like that. But I think here you have to be very, very, very wary of your work and play ethic. Um, there is no doubt about it that you do need more play within your life. You do need to explore the pleasures of life, I think. Uh, and, and I'm going to take my own advice and I'm going to try and do that this weekend by going off to the beach or something. I don't know. Go and do a bit of surfing in some waves. That'd be absolutely brilliant. Um, so, you know, I, I realizing it also within my life here and within our fundamental desires. And this is where, <coughs> you know, you've got your left hand side, which is very much more sort of developed than your right hand side. And this all has to do with administration. And this is not necessarily administration of work, although it will be. Um, and I think you're very much more focused upon that at the moment uh, for your job, your career path or your business and so forth. But it is also of how your life functions within your home, within your relationships, within the people that are around you. Uh, it seems to be very important. It seems to be something that you're putting into place. And I think this is what is turning this um, evaluation, this mulling things over into something that's very determined. But there is a, a, a minor side to that, and that is that work play ethic. You need to have that in some form of balance. Um, and maybe it's something, because when you do have that interplay uh, with your pleasures and your work, you actually end up working a lot more efficiently, uh, doing working less, but gain, doing a lot more. So I'd be very wary of that. I think it would help you out enormously to take time out just to breathe. Uh, let's see what's going on in your solar plexus. That's like that, and then it goes like that, straight as a die, basically, straight as a die. And um, it's not a bad thing, but it's very tunnel vision. Um, so uh, I think it's a case here that your determination, you are really, really laser focused at the moment with your determination. There is no doubt about it. Um, it's almost like an expectation that you deserve this because you put the you put the work in, you know, uh, and your 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 force, your fire is really driving in that sense. It's very it's straightforward, very not necessarily black and white because there is a bit of frilliness at the top of the um, the uh, chakra itself. So there is a bit of give and take. There is a bit of movement, but in general. You know, if it doesn't stimulate you, you're not going to be, you're, you're not going to get involved in it, basically. If, it, if, it, if there's something that's coming towards you that, that doesn't stimulate you, you're not going to be involved in it. You're not going to, your solar plexus is not going to be engaged in it. Uh, it's just going to miss because it's, you know, normally a solar, a solar plexus is a bit like a 45 degree angle a little bit. It does tend to sort of taper out much more at the top. But here it's much more sort of straight and then tapers out gently at the top. Um... So yeah, this, this, these things that come into your life, if they don't hit that central point, they just kind of go off. And I think that's what the evaluation is all about. Um, let's just see what's going on in your heart chakra. I'm not sure you're majorly sociable at the moment. <laughs> that could be because you're working a lot. Um, it could be because you're concentrating on that side. I don't think you're networking a lot 
either. I think I think you might be finding it difficult to network at the moment, maybe because of that tunnel vision on your solar plexus. There's a lot of emotion or, or there's a lot of heart's desires that have been in the past that are slightly still present in your everyday and that's um, socializing as much as uh, networking. And there's some things that possibly need to be tied up, uh, loose ends that need to be tied up in that respect. <coughs> but there is a volcano of emotions. That's the best way to describe it that is building up in the center of your heart. You really, normally it's like a tulip that's sort of like, that's breaking the surface. I'll do it this way. Breaking the surface. If you ever observe tulips, it's got that pointed factor that's just breaking the surface of the thing. But in the middle of the tulip, it's it, there's, a, there's a real cone and that cone is ready to go and pop out. Um, and it's, it's big, it's big, it's massive. Capricorn there's going to be a massive I think a very big energetic effect upon your heart this could be to do with what you're experiencing in your work but it could also be to what you're experiencing in your personal life as well um, it's not quite there yet it's like a volcano that's gradually building its dome but it hasn't erupted um, and it's going to be amazing to see what happens in the uh, weekly readings and the monthly readings and the equinox readings which i will be doing next week as well on this channel here uh see what they, the equinox readings in the next three months and i think we'll really see it in that part there because i don't think it's going to be um i don't think it's going to be on your radar till october to be honest um well i think it'd be on your radar but i don't think it'd be manifested within your life until october it's it's that big you know, it's really building up within you. And it's the inner vision of how you actually sort of clarify all of that. But there's something that's really building up within your heart, basically. Let's see what's going on in your third eye and your throat chakra. This is a contradiction in terms. Your throat chakra and your third eye is in a really good place. Uh, they're very balanced. Um, you do what you think or you say what you think. Uh, there's no, you're not beating the bush about it. Almost as if your third eye is, your throat chakra is even larger than your, your, your third eye chakra. This is really good for working with spirits, with energy and that sort of thing as well. It's got to be said, because you've got less mental and much more emotional um, or sort of a vocal uh, energy. <coughs> so I think there's, um, uh, you know, I think, I think you're happy with life. Uh, no, not happy with it. That's not the word I wanted to say. You're, um, you're not under pressure. You're content with things. But don't lull yourself into a false sense of security. Um, yes, I think there's a lot more vocal stuff going on. But then this is where the contradiction comes in play. Because it's not happening on the social side, on, your, on the social networking uh, or networking or financial networking on your heart chakra. You know, your heart's desires are not really there yet. And it might be that you're explaining about, you're expressing and talking about what you so desire in life um, to be living. Um, and that desire of what you're saying needs to come out in a very, in, in a physical way, but it's not there yet. So you're explaining about the situation uh, rather than actually living it at the moment. But it's, it's fine with you. You feel happy about where you're going, about what you're doing. You feel happy within yourself and confident within yourself by the looks of things. But let's just see what's going on in your crown chakra. It's very large. I think this is all part and parcel of that realization that you're doing within you. Um, I think you are applying your consciousness within your life or you're trying to apply it within your life. And this could be in regards to relationships as much as um, sort of, um, uh, you know, your business or just, it's the general life in a way, because it's consciousness. It's not just tied into one side, it's tied into all sides of how you live your life or what you are living. That's, there seems to be a very, uh, application of a new consciousness that has been born through you and i think this is born through you through um 
Pluto, of going from Pluto into Aquarius and stuff like that. And it will be coming out of your birthday, out of your sign and going into Aquarius, I think in October, which is where I think this is where your heart really sings. Um, and um, But it will be coming back in, in January, February or, February or March or something like that. You can check the dates out. Uh, and then it'll be gone definitively, I think, in, in the summer of um, the summer of 2024. And then we're into the age of Aquarius. Um, so, you know, you've, you've got this, you, your consciousness, of, you've gone through this shift within you, within your consciousness. That's what it seems like within your energy. And then now it's a case of applying that within life. Let's just see if we can pick up anything else within the um, aura. I just want to have a look at that sort of. Yeah, that whole sort of mulling through. And that the whole sort of mulling through things and, and turning it into something decisive. It there is a there is a forward cup sort of scenario going on there. Um yeah, four of swords, sort of like, I deserve this. You know, you've put it out there and you're saying to the universe, you put it out there, sort of saying to the universe, I've done the work. Uh, what happened to the results? You know, what happened to, you know, the feedback loop? Uh, there is a degree of that, and it is coming. You, you, you may not notice it yet, but it's certainly coming through your heart, and you're going to be living your heart's desires in the future. There is no doubt about it. There's something major coming up through your life. Um, so, yeah, there you go, uh, Capcom. Thank you very much for being here with us. I really do appreciate it. Uh, I hope you get the best out of these readings. I really do. Uh, I will be doing your weekly reading, as per usual. That will be coming out on Thursday. Uh, and um, also the Equinox readings next week. Don't forget about Cymatic TV and the energy update. As I said, it's linked in the description below, or it's floating around my head at some point. I will see you soon. In the meantime, don't forget, life should be fun, so please do enjoy.